Okay, I have uh, Team Center open, and what we're going to look at is revising some CAD parts. So I'm going to begin with uh, this one I have here. Uh, this part here has uh, been released, as you can see with a little status flag, and it's a little tire, a little Lego truck tire. This has been released, so for all intents and purposes, this release status or this flag indicates that this part is read only and I can't edit this part. So if I need to make a change to this part, I'd have to go in and revise it. And seeing as how uh, this is team center, it's pretty easy to do inside the CAD system, in this case, an X. Now, if you see here, I've got a container. So I've got a top level item and it's gonna hold all my item revisions or the history of my part. So if you look at this one here, here's Rev A. Rev A contains a you know a UG part so this is an actual CAD file in here I could have other documents in here as well if I needed to help support you know give description or information on this on this particular component piece now kind of what I alluded to in the in the text is that uh, this when you're doing a revise or revision of things one thing you want to do is see how far that revision is going to impact other parts or other assemblies. So within Team Center, we have something called an impact analysis that allow us to trace back, you know, where a part is used. So in this particular instance, this part is used in, of course, it's referenced and used inside this revision, but it's also used in an axle assembly. And that axle assembly is then used inside uh, one of the dump trucks that I have stored up here in the system. and that's as far as it goes because dump truck isn't used in another assembly. So this part's used in this assembly, this assembly's used in this assembly because it's a sub assembly of this one. And this one of course is my top level. So if I need to do any revising, I'd probably have to revise this guy too, this one over here and so on and so forth. So you can quickly find the different parts that this thing is actually associated with. And if I go ahead and launch this over in uh, inside of NX, you'll see that it's, Oh, usually, you know, you get the indication, especially if you open it up. This is read-only right now at the moment. So if I need to make a change to any of this, uh, what I just need to do is just come over here to my save as, to my save as command. And in the dialog box, you can see here I got new revision selected. And the only thing I need to do is just give it a new rev level. Now, of course, this is up to your company standards if you're going rev level rev letter or numeric it's up to you and i could give it a reason give it information on why we're doing the the revision but you can see here it quickly goes over to b and with that i could go ahead and start manipulating and changing my part around what i'll do is i'll go ahead and close it out and go back into the into the rack you see here my past open parts i've got an a and a b and if i go into team center and refresh things you can see now that i've i've got another entry so team center took care of this automatically for me it went ahead and threw in the extra it created my new revision added a new data set to it so now if i need to make any changes to this this particular part here it's only going to affect this part here while the other one stays intact and Team Center takes care of managing that for me and keeping track of those things for me. So you can see here we did a, I just did a quick, quick change to it and it'll save it back into the database now. Of course, you know, it goes ahead and updates in the picture. Now, of course, we would go in and I would find the, the assembly they would belong to, but is simply rev it to the next level that it needs to go to, but quick and easy, quick, simple uh, revision inside of a CAD system. So now let's take a look at uh, another method of revising. 